Welcome to the Film Buffs Podcast. Today, we'll be discussing a somewhat controversial film titled The Cat in the Hat, a classic movie that has become a beloved favorite for many. Despite the controversies surrounding some of its content, this movie is still a fantastic watch for both adults and children. Before we begin, if you enjoy our content, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all the support we can get. The Cat in the Hat is a movie that breezes by without breaking a sweat. Its fantastic comedy and world-building make it a children's film that barely scrapes by as one, with the majority of the jokes going over kids' heads. However, that makes it all the more awesome viewing for adults and children alike. The humor in The Cat in the Hat, unlike this review, is well-written and full of wit. The screenplay, penned by Alec Berg, David Mandel, and Jeff Schaffer, is a masterclass in comedy. It's full of witty one-liners, clever wordplay, and snappy dialogue. The pacing of the movie is also impressive, never dragging or slowing down, and the jokes keep coming with every scene. The use of color in the movie is also impressive, with a fantastic world-building that immerses the audience in the whimsical world of Dr. Seuss. The movie stays true to the spirit of Dr. Seuss's original material while modernizing it to suit audiences of 2003. Have at me in the comments below. Regarding the performances, Mike Myers is excellent as the titular character. He brings a sense of energy and mischievousness to the role that makes it impossible not to smile when he's on screen. Meanwhile, the child actors Dakota Fanning and Spencer Breslin also do a fantastic job holding their own alongside Myers. Their performances are natural and believable, and they bring a sense of authenticity to their characters. It's worth noting that The Cat in the Hat has faced some controversy over the years. Some critics have claimed that the movie is too raunchy for children, with some suggestive content and references that may not be appropriate for young viewers. While there may be some truth to these claims, it's important to remember that The Cat in the Hat is ultimately a movie that's meant to be enjoyed by all ages. Its humor is smart and entertaining, and the world-building is simply breathtaking. In conclusion, The Cat in the Hat is a fun and entertaining movie that manages to stay true to the spirit of Dr. Seuss's original material while modernizing it for a new generation. Despite the controversies surrounding some of its content, it's a movie that both adults and children can enjoy, thanks to its fantastic comedy, awesome use of color, and world-building. Thank you for joining us today on the Film Buffs Podcast. If you enjoyed our review, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content. And remember, it's a movie, not a signal that heralds the end of the world. Thanks for watching. That's my mom. Awkward. Yeah. Yes, this place will do quite nicely, actually.